The Zamfara State Government Law No. 2 of 2022, which established the State and Recovery Committee, empowers operatives of the outfit to conduct operations, especially at political gatherings, to enforce compliance with the provisions of the law. Accordingly, operatives of the committee were at the political rally organized in honor of Zamfara State PDP gubernatorial candidate Dr. Dauda Loldari, where they arrested no fewer than 50 persons for alleged carrying weapons, as well as an attempt to vandalize some government property in Gusau, the state capital. Chairman of the committee Committee Mohammed Bellobak Eswa says about 30 of the suspects have been caught with a number of exhibits. Caught them in different positions. Also, uh, other uh, suspects that uh, we are arrested, our personnel loaded with arms from Bakura, and also there we are suspect that uh, categorically came to our office to approach us according to the coordinated plan and we are able to apprehend them, and they are here with us. And uh, as you can see behind me, there is a motorcycle bajaj that is carrying three men, each with AK-47. And we chased them. Uh, unfortunately, we could not reach them and they threw away their motorcycle. Also paraded is a young man who allegedly burnt down a Hilux vehicle carrying APC symbol in Gusoi Metropolis. You know, sir, is one of the suspects here that uh, succeeded in uh, burning one of the uh, government vehicles as planned. It is a hot teacher. In a law and a name, it is a hot teacher. And I did the tire on permanent there under APC. You come on a summer total. The suspected arsonist who confessed to the crime claimed to have acted on an instruction by a big politician in the state. But Aswa, who observed that the thuggery is assuming very dangerous and complex dimension in the state, advocated for a collaborative effort to effectively tackle the menace. There's no one exceptional. Both Ensake and Mbanga are all bound to, 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 to attend political rally uh, arms. So I think that we are going to continue with this operation until uh, we make sure that the, the rules given to us we, 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 we succeed. Some of the suspects have also confessed to the crime. At the anti thuggery Committee chairman says they will all be handed over to the appropriate security agency for further action. In Ngusau, Jamilu Ibrahim, NTA News.